Hey, what's going on guys? Kevin Mendoza here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, I will be reviewing my new cage for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And that is none other than the Tilta Advance Cage. I will quickly go over all the parts that make up this build. I will then explain some features that I especially like. And lastly, I will tell you exactly why I bought this cage specifically. Okay, real quick, let's just break this down. So at the very bottom of the rig, we have this base plate and this base plate has some threads underneath. So that way you could mount it onto a tripod of your choice. Then there are two slots for two 15 millimeter rails. And these rails could be used to mount a follow focus system, a lens support, or I use the back end to mount my battery bank for the Blackmagic. And this top portion right here is a dovetail receiver where you can slide the cage in just like that. And then there's a lever here where you can secure it and that way the cage stays put. Then we have the actual cage itself. The cage has plenty of threads where you can mount anything you want. This side handle could come off and on by sliding into the side of the cage over here and you tighten the handle to the cage by turning this knob down here. That's secure. And the cage comes with this USB-C cable, which feeds in 90 degrees to insert into the SSD and also 90 degrees on the other end into the camera. We have this dope looking top handle. This is super comfortable. It also has threads where you can mount anything you want. It has a slot, uh, a cold shoe slot for your monitor. And then it also comes with a sun hood. So that way, if you're filming outside and the sun is too bright, this will act as shade. There are three things in particular that I like about this rig. First off is the side grip handle. Naturally, we hold onto the camera with our right hand and then we focus with our left hand because most DSLR and mirrorless cameras are set up that way. But if you do want to hold it with two hands, normally these cables on the side, if I take this out, these cables on the side would be uncomfortable to grip and also you might damage the cables. So it's really not natural to hold it this way, but this handle fixes that problem. And now I feel like Rambo. The second thing I like about this rig is the USB-C cable that comes with it. As I said before, it inserts at 90 degrees both into the SSD and into the camera, so everything is out of the way, nothing's popping out too much, and it comes with these screws that thread into the SSD mount and the cage itself, so that way while your USB-C is plugged into both the camera and SSD, there's no chance of it being unplugged. And the last thing that I like about this rig is it makes my camera look bigger and therefore more professional. Which leads me into my last point of why I got this cage. Bigger is better. Not necessarily for us video shooters, but for the client receiving our service. Tell me, as a client who knows nothing about cameras, who would you feel more comfortable shooting your video? Someone walking in with a rig like this or someone with a tiny mirrorless camera. Now, you and I know it doesn't take a bigger, fancier camera to make an exceptional video, but anyone hiring professional video shooters is going to expect some professional equipment in order for their final result to look professional. So walking into a shoot with this thing is going to give the client some reassurance that this videographer is going to provide some professional service. Then they are more likely to hire you again and pay your asking rate. A link to this bad boy will be in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.